What is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back to episode number 30 of Elden Ring. In episode number 29, we got ourselves a lantern, and then we were promptly whisked away to Lindell, the royal capital. Yeah, I don't even know what that is, but we made our way there by getting trapped by a chest. So now we know what the chests that blow smoke do. They, uh, they teleport you to an area that you know nothing about and don't have any business being in. While we were there, while we were there, uh, we got repeatedly curb stomped by a giant golem, but we eventually dispatched that giant beast and then teleported our way back to the Weeping Peninsula, where we then found a new Ever Jail called the Weeping Ever Jail. We entered and then defeated an ancient hero of Zamor, and we're awarded with Radagon Scar Seal. And this thing is a talisman that raises all of our attributes, some of our attributes, not all of them absolutely awesome one i really really like that uh but it also does make us take more damage as well uh we then finished off the episode by finding the witch bane ruins and finding dear old sorceress Selen. uh and she might have been chained to a wall and then we left her there i don't know if that was a good idea or not i feel like i maybe i should have put her out of her misery i don't know but we'll find out if there are any consequences to leaving her there alive today maybe in episode number 30. let's go Let's go, there's lots to get done today. Um, my main goal today is to make our way uh, from where we are now, all the way up to the castle. So the castle, if we look on the on the map here, is actually way over here around the corner. So I think we're gonna fast travel over to the Nomadic Merchant here to start out. Um, I think we're gonna fast travel here and then we will work our way south. Um, I have not, there's like a broken down wall here. Um, I haven't explored over here or down in here. So those are the two areas that we're actually gonna have to make our way to. Let's go ahead and fast travel right over here. So it's Castle Morn is where we're heading. And uh, we have a quest there. The quest is for, uh, what is her name? Arena, I do believe is her name. Irina, Irina. Um, and Arena asked us to deliver a message to her Faja. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, you know what, if I remember correctly, there's something shooting arrows at us over here. <laughs> 98% sure something's going to be firing arrows at us. Uh, giant freaking arrows. I think it's a golem. I think it's one of the golems that we've spotted before. Is that him right down there? In the very center of the screen, right up above my weapon. I think that's him right there. Um, we may have to... Can we? Is there a back route in? Can we, can we button hook him? Is button hooking a thing in this game? I feel like we're about to make it a thing. Uh, we'll, we'll grab these. Rune fragments. Runed. Yeah, that's totally him right there. He has no idea that we're here either. Because, oh, look below us. Um, get it. Without hesitation, get it. A golden seed. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're just going to get super sneaky here. Let's look around over here. I wonder if we can get up on top of the wall. Wow, look at all the tarnished golden sunflowers over here. Um, I wonder if we can ride this wall all the way to the end. I feel like that's probably a thing. Um, To get hit by him now would probably be real bad. It would probably knock us off. Oh, there is a beach down there. There is a beach. All right, so I think uh, there's only one thing to do here to start off. That is to attempt to get on top of this wall and uh, run the wall. I feel like that would be a perfect spot to hide something is on top of that wall. So let's see if we can get up there. <laughs> the rolling sheep never, never cease to make me laugh. All right. Um, can we get up there though? Oh yeah. Right there. I feel like that's the way up. 100%. This has got to be a route up there. All we got to do is get on. Yeah. Right there. We can double jump this. Maybe, or maybe not. We did it. Literally broke the game and no, it looks like we cannot go up there. Well, did we explore over here? Where are we on the map? Maybe, I don't think we did explore over here, did we? Well, we gotta take a look, see. Um, I think we did make our way to this little rune here but if not you know we, we got to make sure because you never know where something amazing is hiding okay so yes this is where uh i think we have we did make our way over here 
There was nothing here. All right, so let's work our way up along this cliff face here and uh, see what we see. Oh, there's a shack up here. Oh, baby. What was that? A yellow ember. That's new. That is new. A yellow ember. Uh, I kind of skipped right by it. I hit the button too many times. I was in loot mode. Yellow ember. Yellow ember. Material used for crafting items. An ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. Material used for crafting items. A sign that the deceased suffered from a flame of frenzy. This grape is ripened and burst. It's not a grape. Why do they keep calling them grapes? Okay. Okay. These ones got glowy eyes and stuff. Got him. Yeah, those ones had the glowy eyes. Horrible little creatures, those ones are. Can we not loot this? Apparently not. All right, so what's on the corpse? Another yellow ember. Um, I think I hear more. Got him. Eye of yellow. Eye of yellow. <laughs> Eye of Yilo. Where is this? Right here. A shrub fruit bursting with ripened pulp. Material used for crafting items. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy. It's used for its pain relieving properties, though it also is known to be a dangerous intoxicant. Um, count me in. Let's get intoxicated. All right. So what else is here at this little shack? we not allowed in here no impossible why would you let me in let me in um can we do a jump off of this cliff and get on top and then go in i don't see a hole in the rooftop and i missed it the worst Oh, there's some bats here, which means it's nighttime, too. There we go. Now we're up on it, but nothing. Okay, so there's nothing in there. There's a skull. Let's go snatch this up. That's weird. So, uh, so frenzied. Um, this is a new, I'm guessing, a new status effect. This is my pure guess is that is that is a new status effect that we have not seen. And uh, it's brought up in this area only in this one spot. Uh, there's a lot of. I would have anticipated that these things would have. Uh, actually frenzied me or applied the status effect but i don't get hit <laughs> there's another building up ahead of us is that an enemy well we were able to lock onto them see they, they've got like the glowy eyes too you don't want to do this bud oh you're just gonna spew fire for okay now i'm not taking a chance with that oh oh there's a building here too like a church Ailing Village? I feel like one. I heard one of them talking over there. Oh, there's a... What, don't fall off the planet. Got that. Item. Golden Rune 2. Nice. And there was another fire right there that uh, we kind of moved right on by as well. No, don't get up. It's cool. Yellow Ember glass shard he dropped all right huh okay what is up with this place 
I, I like the look of it. They're a very creepy town. Let's get these materials. Um, what's off the edge here? Oh my goodness. Well, that definitely looks like it's leading down. That is 100% leading down. Torrent, come beast. It's 100% like a path leading down. Oh, I know where we're at. Uh, I forget what episode it was. I want to say it was way back in the, uh, I want to say, man, it must've been like episode number. Might've been like episode number 12, 13, when we had first our made, made our way over here to the Weeping Peninsula, uh, we had continued straight along that path from the bridge uh, instead of going right to where we are now. So this is what would have been right. <gasps> what is it? Look at all the bats too here. An insane amount of bats. Um, I would like to go and get that, but how would we get back up? Well, I do know there is a path that leads back up. Okay. All right, we're abandoning the, the village for now. We'll be back, villagers. We will be back. All I want to do is hit the thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we got it. Oh, lightning strike, which is fitting. Oh boy, okay. Can I just run from this? Because this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I hate that you can't hit them. Got him. All right, this is all coming together. We're gonna be fine. They're like flapping their wings into their friends. Ow. Why are there so many of them? Why can't I hit them? Drink. How are you hitting me? I have a shield up. Ridiculous. Hey, get struck by lightning, piece of garbo. We got a drink back for that. Oh my goodness, I hate the flying enemies in this game. Just take them out of the game. They're literally OP. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, man oh man, item. Um, golden rune and there's all kinds of these. We got lightning strike, which I looked like a, uh, trying not to get struck by lightning right now, by the way. Um, it looked like that may have been a uh, incantation. I definitely won't get struck by lightning here. Lightning strike is what we're looking for. There it is. One of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Summons a bolt of lightning that scatters and spreads around the surrounding area. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. Ancestors of the modern dragons, the ancient dragons, had scales of gravel stone and wielded lightning as their weapon. It is said that once they attack Lindell, the royal capital, which we were, we actually got teleported to. Okay. Um, whoa, well, don't do it. Ugh. That would have been horrible. We would have definitely died from that. Um, how do we not die now? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are we supposed? Ow. Where are we supposed to go? Hmm. I don't really see a safe way down from here. That is a long, long fall that I don't think I can survive. Yeah, that definitely looks like a death fall. That 100% looks like it's a death fall. 
I don't think we can make the jump to that. Yeah, that's that's a big old gap. Let's get off the the horse. Oh no, there's death. That is so unfortunate. It literally shoved us off the side. Literally shoved us off the side. There's, that's 13,000 room. That's basically a level up. We're never going to get back. <laughs> There's no way that we can get that back. No way. We'll make the run over there, but I don't think that there's any way for us to get that, uh, to get those back. Because I don't see a safe place to drop to. There has to be. I mean, there's always a way. At least there always should be a way. You shouldn't be forced to die in order to get an item. <laughs> but then again, it is a FromSoft game. You just never know. Sometimes the development, the development team just wants to see you suffer a bit. Oh, holy row of fruit. I'm convinced that they hate us, is what I'm saying. The devs hate us. This is like their revenge. Uh... <laughs> Did I go the wrong way here? No, right here. Yeah, right here is the way. This is the way. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't see. There's our, our souls. I don't really see a safe way back from the death plunge. Only way to find out is to come down here. Oh, that was almost super unfortunate. The good news is at least all of these guys are back. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, this is happening. And we died again. And there is a cave there. There is a cave there. Good to know. Um, Gosh dang, this is horrible. <laughs> the frustration of this. It's a good thing that I'm halfway across the map and I have to make this journey back over there. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Well. Push through the pain. As they say, push through the pain. I wonder... So there is a cave at the bottom. I wonder if there is an entrance to the cave up top. Maybe an invisible wall. It's always what my go-to. There's got to be an invisible wall there, right? Has to be. Clearly, there has to be. All right. We've made it back. If we didn't have to deal with the 87 bats as well, uh, it's another thing that's not the greatest thing ever in the ever history of ever. Where is my, where are my souls? My souls, my runes, where are my runes at? Uh, runes? Please don't tell me that they put the runes at the very bottom. I don't see them at all. Did I not get them back? It's pointing this, oh, right there they are. <gasps> the literal worst spot. <laughs> in the, in the very back. Whoa. No. <laughs> Sucker. All right, we got to find a way out. I'm doing it. I'm just going for it. I missed and I'm we're dead. Gosh dang it. <laughs> How in the heck did we get down from up there? If I could get my souls it actually like on the ground, it would be okay. So at least if my souls were on that second part, I know a way around that we can get down there. <laughs> we're just going to bang our heads on this wall until we figure it out, I guess. This is a rough one. It's a full level up, you know, and, and level ups are hard to come by nowadays. I mean, we're, we're getting up there. We're like, what, 40 something or L, something? We're like 45 ish, somewhere around there. So, yeah. They're not the easiest to come by 
anymore. And that's a full level up just chilling down there. Problem is, once we're down there is really when I don't see the way back up. We can make this drop safely. All right, here we go again. Ow. Whoa. Got him. This is our strategy, the old hit and run. Got him. You missed everything that time. I ain't scared. Ow. Jesus. Got two of them. I love you, Torrent. You're making this so much easier and less frustrating to deal with. Got him. <laughs> One more. Got him. We've done it. All right, now at least we can have a moment to think about ways that we might solve. There's another bat right there. Ways that we might solve this issue. Well, what a place to put that skull. Got him. There's nothing on the backside here. I was thinking maybe along the backside there might be a way out. Um, I don't see a way to jump and get up onto these and work our way back up. This is really starting to feel like a, a death's end. Now there is that over there, but that is way too far away. This is definitely a death fall from where we stand. Yeah, we're nowhere near being able to get up. I am so confused as to how you were supposed to get out of this situation. Where were we supposed... How were we ever supposed to get out of this? They were just like, hey, why don't you go down here? It looks like you want to go down there. You should definitely go down there. And then we're like, yeah, we got you now, stupid. He fell for it. Hmm. I'm really starting to believe they didn't give you a way out of here. That you come down here to die. Yeah, there's no way. Hmm. I'm at a loss. I don't I, I I don't see us being able to make that jump over there at all. This kicked us off when we got to like that midway point, it just gave us the boot. Maybe from here? Maybe if we jump along, looks like there might be a ledge there that we might be able to catch. Oh, oh, we've done it. We've done it. We literally beat the game. Literally beat the game. <laughs> it was so stupid. Um, We're seeing what's in this cave. We came all this way. We are going to find out what's in this cave. Let's go. This is a mine. This has got the look of a mine about it. Morn Tunnel. Uh, we're going back up. <laughs> we're after we get this, we're going back up. 
<laughs> we will not make that mistake again. I remember you, Lindell Tunnels. Or wait, Limgrave Tunnels. Limgrave Tunnels was the name of it. We died by, uh, yeah, and we had to go all the way back because we did not stop and grab this. We just went back up. Yep. It's an idiotic move, and I regretted every minute of it. Ooh, that was close. Uh, what do we got here? Smithing Stone 1. Thanks for that, I guess. Is there anything up there, though? That was where I was trying to get to. We'll have to call the elevator. And we'll have to take it back to the top. Elevator! The Great Lift. Oh, look at what we can do now. Wait, no, it's not that. How? What is it? Oh, this. We've got a lantern. That is the best. That's the one we're going. I didn't see anything in there. PBH, I did not see anything in there. No, nothing. All right. Yoink. Oh, I thought it was going to boot us off. Held my breath there a moment. All right, let's see what's in this decrepit old mine. The summoning pool is now functional. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of smithing stone ones. Get wrecked, bro. Get steamrolled. All right, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of parkouring around here, which doesn't exactly excite me. I'm waiting for the camera to do one tweak and send me reeling. Gotcha. These things are hideous. What? All the way up. What's up there, bud? How's it going? Okay. I remember how to deal with you guys. Remember that? Gotcha. Uh, smithing stone one. All right. So, yeah, I feel like we're in an area basically that is... It's lower level. It's a lower level area. Essentially the same as Limgrave. Starter zone kind of deal. What? <laughs> this thing jumped and like foot clawed me in the head regions. Easily knocked back. They have little wings, I just noticed. I have little tiny wings. <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, golden rune two. Is there anything on the walls or anything? No. Doesn't look like any smith and materials or nothing. All right. These guys we fight with the shield. Ow. Thank you. Explosive stone. That isn't new. We've already have some of those. If I'm not mistaken, we already have some explosive stones. No, we don't. Explosive stone clump. A clump of small stone with smoldering cores explodes when thrown together at enemies, inflicting fire damage. Miners employ these stones as tools for rock blasting, but have long forgotten how to craft them. Nice. Oh, uh, we did not loot that. Smithing stone one. Yeah, wake up. I hear something else coming. Okay, we're going to be dealing with two. Deal with him fast. What? Okay. 
Nope. Ow. Punching. Oh. Thank you. Ow. Am I really going to die to this guy? <laughs> Embarrassing much? this item stanching staunching bullets i believe those uh stop bleeding those stop bleeding um i don't see anything oh, right there on the wall boy i would really i really wish these were smithing stone threes to be honest that's what we need uh is smithing stone threes oh good god good what are they eating arteria leaf okay we got a sleeper over here wake up oh this is uh yeah sombering smithing stone i'm not sure what those are used for those might be way further down the line they are much rarer so uh, let's pick foit This one's just firing bows at us. Can I... Is this really a thing? Can I not... Okay, there we go. Didn't like that, did you, you filthy little creature? I have an arrow in my arm. <laughs> Smithing stone one. Explosive stone. Smithing stone one. All right, nothing else over here. Let's take this fella out. Fight me. Got him. So my guess is you can pretty much come back here and farm, um materials from these places over time i'm guessing that these respawn just a guess though so we have three different directions that we can go in is this the one that we came from yeah this is the one that we came from there was another direction to go here as well so before we continue down um make sure we take everything out Smithing stone one again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there was something over here. Another tunnel. It's the best way to deal with these guys. These guys are definitely a little more tanky than the normal normal fellers what do you think maybe you could aim at him good job eighth try and you finally did it pillage remains golden rune four nice and a chest i was ready to dive away is all i'm saying exalted flesh it's for heroes. I get why it ended up in my hand. Something over here around the corner as well. Fight me. Oh, there's another one of the somber smithing stone. Somber smithing stone one. 
You know what I wonder? Oh, I bet you I know what those are for. In the Dark Souls series, uh, there is a separate kind of more rare stone that's used for boss weapons. I wonder if those are used to upgrade boss weapons. Also, large glintstone scrap. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hmm. So it looks like that's it this way. All right. So now we're moving back towards the other direction. Heading down deeper into the mine. You know where that got the uh, dwarves, right? Uh-huh. I'm wondering how long before we run into a Balrog. Left or right? Um, I'm right-handed, so we'll go left first because right is always the right way to go. Told you. Soft cotton. Okay, that is a new item. Soft cotton. That is a, uh, yeah, in this category. Soft cotton. Right there. A soft but sturdy cotton formed from splitting open roa fruit in a particular manner. Craftable item. Attaching this cotton to the bottom of one's feet allows for a temporary reduction in fall damage and sound. If you must court danger, at the very least, tread lightly. Okay. So at least uh, we know this is not the way. I've spoken. Nothing over here. Continue down. Oh, uh, looks like we have a boss fight. <laughs> yes. Uh, we got five drinks left. I'm good. I'm all right with this. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Zero hesitation. We're just going in. I can hear it growling in here, whatever it is. I don't see it. Oh, there we go. What? It just rolled at me? Oh, we're just doing immaculate damage. Uh-uh. No. I'm going to drink. We'll use our mobility and then, yep, one more. You're dead. Get him out of here. The scaly misbegotten has been defeated. Rusted anchor. New. That is a weapon. A rusted anchor. How <laughs> in a rusted anchor. A rusty anchor wielded as a weapon. Each for its four flu flukes is... Wait, each of its four flukes is thick and sharp, enabling piercing attacks. When the tarnished left the lands between with their lord, one boat alone was said to have been left behind. Skill barbaric roar. Let loose a bestial roar to rally the spirit and increase attack power. Um, it's an anchor. It's a literal anchor. We've done it. Uh, all right, another boss down. Woo. There we go. Return to entrance. Yes. Man, I love this game. <laughs> we just did so much damage with our charging attack. It was absolutely absurd. And I loved every second of it. Um, hop aboard our trusty steed and start making our way now to the, uh, we're going to Morn Cas Castle Morn. Is that what it is? Morn Castle? Castle Morn? One or the other. It's one of those. Um, let's just avoid these guys. These guys don't give you much. There is an item. Golden Rune 2. These guys don't give you much in the way of uh, rewards. Looks like we have a couple of skulls here on the ground. Or items. Just items. String. We got string. And gold-tinged poop. That was completely a trap there, by the way, that I just sprang. Is this the, I believe this is where we killed the demi-human, uh, the demi-human queen at. Yeah, demi-human forest runes, yep. All right, so we're good here. That means we can probably do the jump back up. We've explored all the way back that way, so let's do the, uh, the big jump back up. 
And here we go. Let's go. Wow, that's such a huge jump. All right, then from here, uh, we need to make our way to the right. I don't think we can get back up where we were before. Knock it off, all that noise. Pillage its bodies. Rune fragment. All right, so I think if we go down here and head to the right, we will then curl back around. Um, there was like a... Like the site of a meteor uh, is what it looked like. Almost like a meteor crater or something on the ground. Um, this is an old site of grace. You know what? We might as well grab this site of grace really quick. Then we'll move from here. Filthy dags. Yeah, I think that's Castle Morn up top there. Let me see where we are on the map. We're heading in the right direction. Oh no, this is the opening. Okay, this is the opening right here in the in the wall. So I was gonna say the merchant should be right to the left. This is where we fought the midnight or was it the, the Knights Calvary uh boss fight, open world boss fight. Right here at this exact spot. Um, all right, let's let's do this. So I think that there's a golem down here shooting uh arrows at us. That's what it looked like at least. Let's see if there's a way for us to get down there. I feel like he just shot. See if there's a way for us to get down there. Also, I see this. We're going to go kill it. What? That one just instantly disappeared. <laughs> get back here. What is this nonsense? <laughs> This thing's playing games. This thing is playing games and I don't think it's funny. Oh, there's an item right here. Got him. What you garden over here, bud? Smithing stone one garbage. Um, I can hear this thing just shooting arrows at us. Firing arrows into the wall. Big old huge arrows. So where did this horrible little scarab go? This little disappearing scarab. I feel like it's almost like it's leading us somewhere. It's a bear. Nope. <laughs> That's a trap. That's what that was. Uh, I think that scarab disappeared forever and ever. Another bear. Oh, almost jumped off the edge there. Such a grand game. Oh, right there it is. Got it. Poison mist. What is this? Let's hide behind this tree. I don't know if this is going to block an arrow, but I feel like it should maybe. Poison mist. Um, that is an incantation. Yep, right there. Incantation of the servants of rot. Releases a poisonous mist before the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion. Those who dwell within poison know rot all too well. The death that begets life that comes to all equally. That is to say, it is the cycle of rebirth put into practice. Nice. It's very morbid. Thanks. Um, shall we go kill us a golem? I think I've had enough of this big guy firing stuff at us. Uh, it's time now to let him know that we are going to stand back and take it. There's a beach down here. A lot of horrible dead creatures. Okay, so you can see the arrows fight. There he is right there. Yeah, let's go take him out. 
The time has come. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Oh, that missed? Oh, dive away. Got him. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, Gollum great bow. We got a great bow. Great bow of black stone crafted by a civilization now gone to ruin. Weapon of the guardian Gollum. Extremely heavy. This great bow requires enormous strength just to draw, suggesting it was not designed for human use. Skill through and through. Powerful archery shot using a great bow held at an oblique stance. Ready the great bow, then twist the bowstring to fire a mighty great arrow that can penetrate through enemies. Amazing. Yes. Yes. I would not mind doing a full on uh like archery build like an actual actual archer. All right, so there was plenty that we missed over here to the right. We are getting a little long on this episode, but I definitely want to make sure we fully explore everything down here before we move on uh into the castle. We'll probably get a spot to sit uh right in front of the castle, so Those only give you 36, so I'm not gonna push too hard at getting all those. There's something new. Oh, it's like a oh boy! There's a poisonous crab. Look at these things are just just barfing up the gross stuff. I don't see any items here though. Let's work our way up that. There's lots of the poison stuff though. Oh, it intercepted me. Ow! Um, we're in trouble. Let me get out of the stink. All right. Let's go, big guy. No, can I please lock onto the guy that's coming at me? Very. Why are you switching your lock on? Oh, my goodness. I, I'm literally going to die because I can't lock onto the guy that's directly in front of me. things are just throwing up and at me. What? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to switch. What in the heck is going on with this game right now? Thank you. There are times when this game can just be enraging mechanics wise. I will say that they do need to clean up some things. I just want my reward for killing the giant thing. Oh, yeah, spit in my face. <laughs> Look at we're on a ride. We're on a roller coaster. Hands up. Got him. That toxic mushroom. We gotten one of those before? I don't think we've ever gotten a toxic mushroom. Maybe we have. We must have. It didn't show up as new crab eggs. Is all we got. All right. Torrent, thank you. Thank you for always being there for me, buddy. I appreciate you. A lot of poison blossom. Um, let's. Can we jump up on here? Yep. There's an item. I knew it. Knew it. The hound was sniffing. Golden Rune 4. Let's actually get up here. We can get a lookout and see. It doesn't look like there's anything out in this direction. Oh, there is something down there on the beach, though. I don't know if you all spotted it, but there was a bunch of jellyfish down here on the beach side, to the left of the castle. So this is Castle Morn. 
This is where Arena came from. The servants apparently turned on the lords here. Um... We can just jump off here. Got him. Somber Smithing Stone 2. Arteria Leaf. All right. It doesn't look like there's anything else along here. What was that? It looked like something was glowing. I wonder if that was just a reflection on the water. Yeah, I think it was. Weird reflection deals on the water. Um. Oh, oh, another one of these things. The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance. Only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. So Godfrey, there's Godfrey and there's Godric. Godric the Grafted is the one that we fought. So who is Godfrey? Oh, Trina's Lily. Exceedingly hard to find. And uh, we'll go explore the other side of the castle here before we actually enter in and see what's on the opposite side. Hey, we just got some souls for no reason. Look at, they're chasing us. Get inside of me. Like just some crafting materials and whatnot. There is a beach down this way as well. See it? There's a scarab over there. We'll sneak in here and grab this. Golden rune one. And then uh, let's go for the scarab. Okay, okay. Just jump off. Thank you. I'm stuck. It's almost like they know the strategy and they try to sweep around so the other ones can flank you. And I died? <gasps> Are you kidding me? I died? I just completely ignored my health. <laughs> died to the dogs. Oh, that moment when you completely ignore the fact that you must have been low on health. Where are we? Uh, <laughs> it's the next question. Okay, I know where we're at. We're not too far away. We should just be able to quickly... A quick little jog back there. Should be fine. <laughs> Completely have, didn't look at my health for the longest time. And on top of that, we are taking more damage right now as well. Because uh, we have been... Uh, we're using... What was it? Sorosil's something... There's, there's some item that we're wearing right now that raises our attributes, but that also it's a talisman that makes us uh, take more damage as well. So, Scar Seal, that's what it's called. Sorosil's Scar Seal. Does the golem respawn? It does not look like it respawns. So we can just run down here, grab our, uh, grab our runes real quick. It doesn't look like there's anything else over here that we've missed. We already made our way all the way out there today. Yeah, right there they are. Um, no? Not gonna grab it? There you go. Together, we'll get this done. Let's see if there's anything around this side here. Nothing. All right. Let's make our way up to the castle now. Um, this castle looks really big. Not going to lie. This seems like it might be just as big as Stormvale Castle. 
Stormvale Castle took us essentially four separate episodes uh, to make it all the way through. And what the way, what I feel was 100% completed. I don't know if we 100% completed it, but I feel like we got all the secrets that were possible to be gotten. To um, all right. And here is our spot to sit. And this is where we're going to end it today. Rocket Nation, as we get this lost grace and we stand at the precipice to Morn Castle. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of Elden Ring. As always, if you guys are liking the videos, thumbs up. If you dislike them, thumbs down. If you want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you guys got to do is hit that sub button, the little bell notification icon, and you guys will be notified, maybe possibly. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. And remember, life short. Pause, save, and I will see you in the next episode.